New Zealand is one of those places that excites the imagination. A land of mystery, Maori folklore, and magical scenery. A country where you can ski and surf in the same day. Hike on a glacier before sinking into a natural hot pool in the evening. Or take a boat through a cave of glowworms before entering the mystical land of Hobbiton for the afternoon. Today we will tell you 10 best places to visit in New Zealand. Ten, the Routburn Track, South Island. The Routburn Track is a three-day scenic hiking trail that will take you through one of the most stunning landscapes you will ever see in your life. It is one of the ten great walks in New Zealand, and if you have time to do only one great walk in New Zealand, make it be this one. This 33-kilometer-long hiking trail will take you around the Fiordland National Park on foot, passing through beautiful mountains and pristine lake on a once-in-a-lifetime three days adventure that will show you why they called it one of the best great walks of New Zealand. On the Rootburn track, you will be spending two nights in mountain huts at Lake Mackenzie and Rootburn Falls, both of which are some of the prettiest places you can spend a night in New Zealand. Along the way, you will be able to see the Key Summit, Harris Saddle, and many other sites that only those who are brave enough to tackle one of the great walks of New Zealand would see. 9. The Milford Sound, South Island Milford Sound is one of those places where if 10 years have passed and you're trying to recall your New Zealand trip that you took 10 years ago, the mental image of your experience with Milford Sound would be the first to come rushing back. Cruising along the calm water of the Milford Sound as you look up and see waterfalls and wildlife surrounding you is probably going to be one of the most memorable experiences you can have in New Zealand, and it would be a crime not to mention this wonderful place on this list. In order to visit the Milford Sound, it is best that you book an organized tour that will take care of the logistics of visiting this remote fjord from the transfer to the cruise itself. The tour will take you on a full day journey to the Milford Sound, including several photo stops along the Milford Road like Mirror Lakes and the 1855 Viewpoint, which is something you shouldn't miss as the Milford Road is considered to be one of the most scenic roads in New Zealand. 8. Queenstown, South Island Queenstown is the adventure capital of the world, and whatever sports and activities the human body can endure, they have probably come up with it here. Located on the shore of pristine Lake Wakatipu, and sandwiched between mountains on three sides, there is no way you will be able to leave Queenstown without getting yourself thrown out of something, safely and securely, of course. And by that I mean skydiving off an airplane from 12,000 feet and bungee jumping off the ledge over Queenstown while the stunning Mount Aspiring looms behind. There are also many hikes you can do around Queenstown, such as the Ben Lamont Trail that will take you up to see Queenstown from a breathtaking vantage viewpoint and summit the Ben Lamont Mountain all for free. 7. Roy's Peak, South Island One of the best viewpoints in New Zealand and is often featured in magazines and postcards about New Zealand is at the top of Roy's Peak, where you will be able to see an incredible panoramic view of Lake Wanaka and the rolling snowy mountains behind it. The hike to Roy's Peak takes about two hours to reach the top. Once you arrive at the top, you will likely see a line of people waiting to capture that epic Instagram shot of themselves with the lake and the snowy mountain. 6. Wanaka, South Island Wanaka is one of those places in New Zealand where you don't expect much from it and then it turns out to be one of the prettiest places you have ever visited. Located on the bank of the pristine Lake Wanaka, Wanaka City offers many great opportunities for us to enjoy the outdoors around this beautiful blue-colored lake. You can spend hours just strolling and checking out all the beautiful attractions around the lake, such as this lone tree of Wanaka. 5. Franz Josef Glacier, South Island Franz Josef Glacier is one of the most beautiful natural wonders of the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand. With its 12 kilometer long that descends from the Southern Alps less than 300 meters above sea level, Franz Josef Glacier is one of the most accessible glaciers in the country for travelers to see and interact with. With such close proximity to the glacier, Franz Josef Town offers us a slew of opportunities to go on a once-in-a-lifetime adventure 
that you won't find anywhere else, from going on a heli hike trip on the glacier to taking the scenic helicopter tour around the glacier country. The hike took will take you through some of the most stunning features and beautiful spots on the glacier that you wouldn't have been able to see from the ground, while you will also be able to see just how beautiful the valley below is from above. 4. The Abel Tasman Track, South Island Abel Tasman National Park is the smallest national park in New Zealand, but don't let its size fool you. This tiny national park is home to one of the great 10 walks of New Zealand, the Abel Tasman Track, which goes along the coastline of the northern tip of the South Island. The Abel Tasman Track will take you on a 60 kilometer long trail along the beautiful coast of the northern part of the South Island, and you will be able to discover some of the most stunning remote beaches, forests, and wildlife that you won't be able to easily see elsewhere. And since the Abel Tasman Track is located right by the coast, there is a boat service such as Aqua Taxi that you can take from point A to point B, allowing you to do parts of the Abel Tasman Track as a day trip, which is great for those who want to experience the Great Walk of New Zealand, but do not have the time and the required gear to tackle the full length. Three, Nelson, South Island. Nelson, a coastal city on the northeastern tip of the South Island, is famous for its laid-back vibe, beautiful sunshine, and long golden beaches. It is one of the best towns to visit in New Zealand if you are looking for a nice relaxing time away from all the other tourist hotspots. Despite its laid-back nature, Nelson has quite a lot to offer in terms of interesting activities and things to do. The city itself is located along the beautiful Mai Tai River, where you will find lines and lines of trees on both sides of the riverbank creating this beautiful green space that you can stroll around in. You can also spend some time and swim in one of the many watering holes along the Mai Tai River or at the white sand beach of Tahuna Nui. And if you are looking for a little bit of action in the quiet city, go and hike to the center of New Zealand Monument for a stunning panoramic coastal view from the viewpoint. 2. Tongariro Alpine Crossing North Island The Tongariro Alpine Crossing is one of the best hikes you can do in New Zealand. The trail will take you to some of the most diverse landscapes that you will see on the North Island of New Zealand. From the volcanic landscape of Mount Naruhu or Mount Doom for those Lord of the Ring fans out there, to the beautiful glistening emerald lakes, all compressed into an 8 hours day hike that you can easily do. The hike will take you on a 20 kilometer long adventurous trail through some of the most stunning landscapes you will ever see on the North Island and give you a chance to do side trips and hike up to the summit of either Mount Naruhu or Mount Tongariro and get a stunning view of the landscape surrounding Tongariro National Park. On a good clear day, you might even see the North Island from coast to coast and all the cone-shaped stratovolcanoes surrounding the area. 1. Rotorua, North Island Top on the list and probably one of the first places you can visit if you fly into Auckland is Rotorua, a small city located 200 kilometers south from Auckland and a natural place to stop for those who are traveling from the North Island to the South Island by land. Rotorua is home to one of the most active geothermal areas in New Zealand and is a great place for you to dive deep into the Maori culture and explore their traditions as well as keeping an eye out for explosive geysers and beautiful champagne lakes. Waiatapu Thermal Wonderland is where you can experience just how active and magical this area of New Zealand is, and you can visit all the cool spots including the Lady Knox Geyser, Wayamangu Volcanic Valley, and the famous Champagne Lake with an organized tour that runs every day straight from Rotorua City. Rotorua is also home to the beautiful Redwoods Forest Park, where you will be able to witness these stunning beasts of trees up close, admire their beauties, and spend hours hiking and getting lost within this magical forest. Do let us know in the comments which one of these places you would like to visit first. Please subscribe to Travel the World. Thanks for watching.